This is your September 8th market in a minute where we're going to discuss Vero Beach real estate trends, mortgage rates, and what we are looking forward to from the Fed meeting next week. So start the clock. Here are our national real estate headlines. Number one, jobs growth slows sharply. Private employers added just 99,000 jobs in August, and that is far below the expectations of 145,000 jobs. And that's the lowest figure since January of 2021. This followed weaker than expected job openings. The job market is clearly weakening, and as we move closer to the Fed September 18th meeting, and because of our weak economy, we know we are going to see our first rate cut in over four years, which takes us to number two. Mortgage rates continue to move lower. With increasing signs that the job market is weakening, the average 30-year mortgage rate is now 6.27%, and that's the lowest since April of 2023. And number three, our Vero Beach housing market. We continue to see inventory on the decline. Week after week, we have seen homes for sale get fewer and fewer, and we now have 15% fewer homes on the market than we did just six months ago. As of today, we have just 1,072 properties for sale in all of Vero Beach, and that's both houses and condos. And that's down 10 from last week. And although 10 homes is a small number, it is a consistent decline that worries us. Hey, if you have any questions about Vero Beach real estate, a particular neighborhood, or a specific property, feel free to reach out to me. I'm Trip Hernandez with Dale Sorensen Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida. Thank you for watching and have a great week.